Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while, but I was just thinking, when was the right time to do it? And it's approximately... Alright, let's, let's retry that. It's approximate... It's, it's approximately... Well, that's the right word. Been about half a year now since I've uploaded every single day this year. Uh, good content or bad, that's debatable, alright? But I do try to put effort into all of my videos. Although some of them may not be to the highest, highest, highest top quality, uh, next year we are changing this up. And a lot of people do ask me often, like, the why... Like, why am I actually uploading every single day this year? Uh, is it difficult? Was it involved? Is it stressful? Is it is it mentally, like, straining on you? Is it dread? Does it drain you? And I am here today to answer all your questions uh, regarding this. And the reason initially why I've done it is because I've always had some inspiration because I've, I've seen and obviously just watching YouTube and a big fan of YouTube myself. Loads of other YouTubers have done this before where they've uploaded every day, daily vlogging as they call it. Obviously it's like, it's weird because I am daily vlogging but not all of them are vlogs. It's just literally whatever I decide I want to put out or whatever you all like want to see. Uh, whenever you comment down below and give me video ideas or I think of why I'll make that video. The reason why I've done it as well is because I thought the idea and I thought I can't do this. It was it was like coming up to the first. So I basically planned this year, last year, if that makes sense, because I'm very calculated. In the words of Quedeca, all right, I'm more calculated than calculus. Now, but on a real, I did plan out my whole year this year and what I'm doing, and I've also this year planned out next year because I always like to be a few years or a few steps ahead of where I'm going to and where I see myself. So initially, as anyone would, only YouTuber would, I can't do this. And I told the idea to everyone else. I was like. Don't, please. You, you, he's like, you can try it, but you're going to fail after four days. And I was like, you're right. Like, I probably am going to fail because last year I was uploading maybe once every two weeks making crappy Fortnite videos and the occasional, like, sitting down, talking, vlog vlog sort of videos. And they were just they were just boring. I was in a bad place. I didn't know what to do. And I went just to make content that I enjoyed, but also I would what, want other people to watch, what you people want to watch. So I thought I'd give it a try. I was like, in my head, I was like, I don't think I'm going to do this, but I had the mindset still, I'm like, I'm going to upload every single day. So it came to the first, put my first video out, and I think it was a banger. Like, a lot of the, like, near the start of the year videos, if you have a look at them, binge watch them, come on, give me that watch time. But they were all, like, high quality videos that week. Like, whether it had been, there wasn't, there wasn't that many reactions, it was literally just challenge video, like, high production, uh, skits. Uh, music, songs, all of that. But obviously there was a lot of li typical haters that were literally just like, no, you can't do this. But there was occasional people that were just, you know, in like an obvious, like reality, realistic way, like, you probably won't get through this. And I was like, oh, it just fuels me. Like when someone tells me I can't do something, it fucking fuels me to do that and do it with 100%. And I think like, people say, how do you have that mindset? I don't know if it's something I've acquired or learned from someone, or is it just something that you innately have? within you. But at the end of the day, it went, after a few months, I was like, I think I'm good. And I think now I'm in a secure place where I can say that I'm going to be uploading every single day this year, factually, like I'm not gonna miss a day. Uh, it's, it is stressful to the answer to the question of many people. Is it stressful? Yes. This is the thing I'll say, I would not advise, and it's gonna sound really weird why I'm doing it, but I would not advise a single YouTuber or anyone on this planet to do a video every single day for a year. It's the worst thing. And people will maybe like watching this video, well why are you doing it then? Well, I'm going to explain. So obviously there was a factor of, I didn't, I doubted myself, people doubted me and I wanted to prove them wrong, so that was one of them. The second reason is like, I wanted to have that point in my life, in the future where I can look back, I'm in an interview or if I'm talking or I'm making videos, I can say, I've been through the toughest of the tough, like the dirt of YouTube almost, I've learned every single day. Although, although like, you know, you might see it as fun and it is, it is fun, occasional videos, but it is stressful, it is, it's horrible. It's not horrible. It's fun, but it's it's just very draining and physically like, whoa! I'm having like three hours of sleep a night making videos all day. And man, like people should people underestimate it so much. People just think like you're just making one video in the whole day. But the amount of effort you go through, like thinking of the idea. This is the steps you have to go through. Thinking of the actual idea to make a video. That's probably the hardest part. And anyone who makes videos knows it's like a good idea. Then filming the video, but before you even film it, you've got to actually get all the equipment ready, the lighting, the camera, the microphone. Uh, if you want to go out, you've got to have, you've got to make money for expenses or whatever. And then you've got to film the video, that might take half an hour, it might, might take a couple of hours, three, four hours, depending on what it is. You know, music video, vlog, challenge, it could be a 24 hour thing all day. And then you've got to edit it. I bet anyone that edit my videos, by the way, if you are an editor, reach out to me because I do need one. But edit my videos, which will take two from two hours to six hours sometimes and then I would post my video, promote it on social media 
and it's just it's tough. But at the end of the day, I've put myself in this position. I've excluded myself from any idea of you know what the typical educational system puts you in or the bubble that society puts you in. And I want to do this, so I'm going to keep fucking doing it. As long as it takes me to get somewhere, I'm there. People always say there's two types of motivation, and that's either by inspiration or desperation. And I'm a hell, I'm 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 desperate right now to do anything to climb, you know, to climb to on top to actually become one of the biggest YouTubers and entertainers on the platform. And I know it's going to sound stupid, but I know you're watching this back, Josh in Zingy, and you're watching this back in a few years' time, and you're probably proud of yourself or in a happier place than I am right now but it's gonna happen we all know it's gonna happen and I think it's very important for people to know whenever you're watching this like to just never give up but even if you think that you know I'm not I'm not put out cut out for this um, obviously there's an extent into where into which obviously there's an extent into how much effort you put into something depending on how much you care about it I'm so passionate about this YouTube stuff, man. Like, it's just—it's been my whole childhood. It's the only thing I know. Creating, I've always just been a creative person, whether that's been in school, or whether that's been making videos, or just the class that you know, making people laugh. I've always just loved to entertain and make people laugh. But yeah, another reason as well I went to daily vlog or put daily videos is that out is because people say sometimes, especially in something like boxing or any sort of like big career like that. If you go through the worst of the worst, you can get through anything pretty much. And I feel like I've put myself this year through the worst of the worst. And I mean that by, you know, it's, it's been fun, but you obviously don't see all the behind the scenes things. Not where I'm going like, oh, hey guys, welcome to today's challenge. And obviously, yeah, like, it's weird. It's, it's, I mean, I'm, I've, the last month or two, I've opened up more on camera. I've to be more real with you guys, because I think I guess that's what the new wave of content on YouTube is about. Just chilling with your mates. Obviously, yeah, the mates are in. Just, they're just none. A collab with me, someone, please. Now, but on the road, just having fun, chilling out, doing whatever you want to do. Because at the end of the day, that's that's the message I always preach. Do what you want to do, whatever makes you happy. And yeah, I just want to adapt my content to being myself more rather than a persona. But I'm not sure how that's going to switch because certain things need a persona or character of, you know, in Zingy. And some things can just be Josh, you know. That just average kid from London. And I feel like if there's ever a point in my career where I need to do that, uh, like YouTubers do now, like if there's a uh, if I go on a holiday for a month or a week, or there's a point where I need to upload every day for a certain amount of days, I can do that because I've already been through that. And all in all, it's, it's stressful. Obviously, it your mindset, it is quite bad for your mindset because all you think about, no matter what you do, whether you go out to nip to the shops or you go to the park, or you just sit at home watching TV, you think you turn everything into how can I make this a video? I mean, I'm making a video right now. You literally. My, my, I think maybe that's just my brain, I'm not sure if everyone's like that, maybe it's just a weird thing for me, but my brain's always ticking thinking and I've got thousands and thousands of ideas on my phone, I always write stuff down on my phone, or even better paper, because obviously I've said this in the video before, writing stuff down on paper, you're more likely to achieve your goals scientifically by writing down on paper. It's something to do with the calligraphy, I think it is, of writing something down that in your brain you you want to achieve and make it it sort of just comes to life whatever you write down and no i'm not talking about whatever you draw i'll buy challenge or some shit but yeah i advise anyone watching this do not do this if you want to do it for my reasons or even your own reason personal reasons like i have by all means try it but i think you'll i i don't, I don't think most people can do it because a lot of people try and even big youtubers have tried recently i think even ksi started at the start of the year and he just failed in like february february or march but we're going strong, the army is strong. I'm trying to make more good content on the way. The diss track is coming very, very soon. Pa be patient, because I know people watching this video already commented, where's the body diss track? It's coming. That dude, I don't know what his name is, he's finished. Uh, but thank you guys ever so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe down below for daily, and I mean daily content. What else would I mean? It's only daily content every day, bro. I mean, although it's stressful, I love it. I love this, man. I love every single video I make. And provide you guys with any sort of value, entertainment, laughter, and I can't wait to carry this on the rest of the year. Leave a like if you did enjoy this, subscribe down below to join the army, turn on that post notification bell, and you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Run, 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 run.